originally um, there was a couple of us who wanted to start training um, just just kind of by ourselves uh, and we, uh, we thought we'd probably need a team name because we had someone match for a fight. One of the lads was a, a Japanese lad called Keshi um, and we said oh you know we you know it'd be really cool because you know we, we've all got an, a bit of an affinity for Japanese martial arts and Japanese fighters. If uh, could come up with a, uh, a name, he came up with a couple of different ones um, and the, and the one that was probably the, the second easiest to pronounce and wasn't used by someone else was uh, Fulling Kazan. I added the team on there because I, I wanted that emphasis that we are a team. It's not a single unit, it's not people looking out for themselves. Um, but the, the, the word Fulling Kazan definitely has quite a high importance in Japanese culture. The team originally was, uh, was four of us um, and then a few people started to join. Um, we, uh, f the first person who ever competed uh, as a team full exam person is Keshi Maeda, the guy who came up with the name, who fought in the Quantum Interclub back in, two, it must have been 2004. So, yeah, and then from there we've kind of grown, people have joined us. Uh, it was still relatively small at that point, no one really knew what mixed martial arts was. Uh, you get like karate guys and judo guys just wanting to have a go, and then you get guys who just wanted to tell people they were a cage fighter. So. It was a very interesting time. I met Mark on the internet, which in 2001 was um, risky. And it was a Tuesday night in, uh, I think it was October time. And I'd, I'd seen him on SFUK, which is a, a now long gone disbanded forum. And I saw he was from Bradford. And so we started training um, in a ring made of carpet with rope. Well, when we started, it was me and him, and there was no fool in Kazan. Um, there was four of us in that first class, and then we started training with Darren Good, Tom Harris, Tony Devine, and it was still cross training, Jeff Thompson influenced for me anyway, type stuff. Um, we used to train with Darren and Helen, uh, Andy Williams in Huddersfield. Les Allen in Halifax, so it was it wasn't all under one roof. So people now are kind of spoilt for choice a bit. I think it is a family atmosphere, and I'm not saying that other gyms don't have that because when I've been other places, they do as well. But the the consistent numbers of young talent that comes through is brilliant, and the way that the fighters approach the game and the way they hold themselves quiet humble is is a credit to mark i think there's no attitude massive ego it's a proper martial arts club me and mark have been together for seven years just about i think um, and I didn't even know MMA existed when we first got together. So it, it seems to just grown and grown. I think Mark's passion is infectious and everybody just seems to gravitate towards it. I do a lot of the general sort of admin stuff, accounts and things like that, just making sure that everything sort of ticks along. But now I've actually started doing the classes, I'm starting to enjoy doing that side of it as well. So we both get to play now as well. So I've always been interested in from when I first found out about it. Um, but I think I always needed a little bit of a push to actually get involved in it. So when we did the women's MMA course, I really enjoyed doing that and it's just made me want to take it further, really. I'm really pleased with what we're doing here. Um, I, I don't grade us against other gyms. Um, I think we're quite lucky where we've got some really good affiliations with uh, teams like Combat Base, uh, Eric Paulson, uh, Abiani, uh, the ACC guys over in Japan. Um, so we, we've created some really good, solid foundations um, uh, where we are sort of on a national scale I think we're, we're still relatively quite small we're, we're probably known by a lot of quite a few people um, but you know we're, we're still building up towards that that kind of that pro level kind of fight I mean I fought pro for quite a few years but we're now kind of getting a lot of our guys who've never competed before and we've developed all the way through so <clears throat> hopefully in the next two years uh, we, we get yeah, some guys into the likes of like Cage Warriors, Bama, uh, and some of the European um, promotions as well. The first time I sort of uh, came down to the gym, met Mark at a show over in uh, Batley, and he sort of pretty much said to me, you know, you can come over anytime you want. I thought it was somewhere where I felt I fit in. Really welcoming bunch of guys, many of them still training here now, and just Spender as a coach, just really good uh, knowledge base, and 
sort of point me in the right direction, corrected any mistakes I was making and, and, and really helped me to grow uh, as a fighter and then eventually as a coach. In every aspect, as a coach, as a friend and, and kind of like a big brother, he's sort of been able to set me aside when I'm doing things right, say, okay, let's work on this when I'm doing things wrong. He's been able to do the same. Just uh, can't really you know, say enough about how, how much he's always been there for me as a fighter and, and like now as a coach and, and I know he's the same for all these guys. It's a real positive environment, you know. A lot of the guys have come up through the team um, and they've understood that the guys who sort of came before them, it was a case of um, if I get better, um, that's all well and good, but if I can help you get better, then ultimately I grow as a fighter as well, you know. Sharing techniques, sharing skill sets, you know. People improve, then, you know, if I've got a submission, I keep catching it. If I, if I sort of hide it for myself, it's not really testing it. If I show you it, and then you say, okay, well, what if I do this? Then I find that, you know, I've got to sharpen up on my technique. It may even make it better. So it, it's a real opportunity to, you know, train with a, a like minded bunch of people who are here to, you know, train hard, but, you know, uh, a, a real friendly bunch. Time, walk around, catch your breath, guys, get a breather. I've been involved, I started here about, I think it's about three and a half years ago now, so I've been here quite a while, uh, you know, and just the atmosphere down here is, is really good to train in, uh, best place I've trained in anyway, uh, and we're all kind of a close kind of set of guys as well, and and girls so yeah so we all get along really well so it's nice to go out as a team and celebrate like uh, the anniversary as well as uh, the year that we've had in fighting we i mean all those guys here really appreciate the help and what they do for us so yeah really good set of guys the special thing about full is them everyone just um basically um meshes well together as a family, we know we don't just come down and just train and beat each other's heads in. Do you know what I mean? We just, you know, we we see each other in and out of the gym. You know, if we've got problems, personal problems as well. Do you know what I mean? We can, we know, we help each other out and stuff. And you know, it's it's a family. It's it's turned to a family to me. It's been really a very really, really good experience for me. You know, meeting Matt Spencer and stuff. And he's um, he's guided me through not just the gym but through life as well. Do you know what I mean? He's helped me out through through loads of hard 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 situations and stuff. And guiding through things and then we're just getting stronger and stronger every year and we're just getting really busy so we get new guys coming in and then they're, they're improving all the guys they come they're improving there everyone's getting involved in, in the mix and stuff and I started fighting in about 2004 um, I had a couple of amateur fights and then I fight for semi-professionally three times and I turned pro in 2006 I think it was I think part of being a team which looks after each other and where we all help each other to develop means that I want to put something back into the team by um, by teaching whenever I could. It, it worked, it helped with me working around um, my job and um, time, times when I was injured and able to train myself, to fight myself, I, I'll try and do a bit of coaching as well. One of the most important parts of progressing as a, as a fighter or as an athlete or as a martial artist is having a place to train where you you want to come down and train and it's not it's not something where you have to you know, drag yourself off the sofa to go and force yourself to do the work I think if you enjoy the training and the people you train with and the atmosphere at the gym then you're much more likely to stick at it and develop as a fighter or as a or as a martial artist and I think for me that the, the environment around Full and Kazan, the other fighters, the coaches, um, the atmosphere just means that it's somewhere where I've always wanted to come back to and it's never seemed like it's never seemed like work. It's always seemed like um, a fun place to be and it's like having your family around you to train with. Outside of work and my own family is just Full and Kazan. It's my social life, it's my training, it's my friends. All, I don't hardly have many friends outside of training now to be honest. It's like your friends, your training partners, and it's like a family as well. It's just much more tight-knit guys, you know, you're training together, and you have to have that trust with each other anyway, who you're training with, because of the type of training you're doing. You know, someone's got you in a chokehold, or a bit more pressure on your arm here or there, and you've got a broken arm, so you've got to be able to trust people that they're going to let go when you tap out. I think what we've got now is we've got 
uh, like uh, younger people starting to train in mixed martial arts who are getting that, that discipline um, and it's, it's going to be an exciting time in the next sort of two or three years. It's something that, that I've done myself, um, I probably didn't do it the right way, uh, especially early on. Um, where you know, I, I literally like, trained for a year and had my first pro fight in Italy um, at the Coliseum, which was, you know, in hindsight, if one of my one of my fighters said I want to go do this, it'd be a straight no, you know, because you need to develop and um, stuff like that. But you know, when I when I first started fighting, it was pretty much that was the only fight available for the, a six month period, so I, I, I took it. Um, I mean, I can't believe it's ten years. Um, it's certainly flown. Um, I really like where we are now. Um, I mean, there's been some tough times, uh, sometimes where I've I've, I've kind of I've considered moving away from the sport and leaving it. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that I think you know anything worthwhile you need to go through that pain. Uh, it is going to hurt, and you've just got to believe in what you want and uh, you know keep 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 to your, stick to your guns and just keep doing it. I'm 100% dedicated to whatever Mark's doing. I'd be 100% loyal to whatever he did with it and stay with him because he's been good to me. Um, he's one of the most honest people I know, most trustworthy. I've got a small circle of trust being let down over the years and Mark's definitely in that small circle. I'm Marie. Just come and have a look. You can just watch a session. Everyone's friendly, everyone's happy to help. Um, so yeah, just, just bite the bullet and go for it. This place is everything to me, you know, the team, the coaches, you know, this is where I spend my social time, this is where I spend my, you know, my work time, it's everything to me. I mean, from, from kind of uh, the size of the gym and where we are at the moment, uh, I'm really pleased, but, you know, I just want to help develop it um, and just keep, keep going forward.